Hey guys, Chris once again, welcome back to another video. And this is a request to sign from David. And he wanted me to cover another true crime story, and this is called the Greyhound Bus Murder. Um, now this is one of the most disturbing things I've ever, I've ever read about on a true crime. I read about this shit, and it is fucked up. So I'm warning you guys, it's gonna get graphic, but it's gonna get extremely gross and disgusting. This case makes my blood boil like fucking hot soup. Especially the ending to this case. The fact that this guy didn't get any prison time. Oh, we'll get to that. Before I start, I want to let you guys know that if I sound a little bit um, scratchy because I have a sore throat, plus I got a sore, a mouthful of sores. Um. That's, um, because I'm sick and I don't have much energy in my body right now. But, yeah, so please bear with me on that. And, um, another thing, um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. I got Megan here. Okay, this is going to get really dark and gross. So I need a little palate cleanser for whenever I talk about this case, because this case makes me sad, it makes me angry, it makes me fuck, fucking rage and anger. Um, we're one, I'm one and a half minutes, so we're gonna get started. So it's basically about this guy named Vince, who is a Mexican guy, and um, I don't know what kind of religion he, I don't know what kind of race he is, I don't give a shit, because this guy's a piece of shit. He has schizophrenia, um, so he's mentally ill, and he basically grew up with a, with a bad childhood, um, so he basically went on, went, uh, there's this guy named, um, Tim, Tim something, can't remember his last name, but he was a great guy. Um, I didn't know him personally because he, um, he got, this case was way before my time, but, um, I can't remember this case, when this case started, but, he was always wanting to go out and do things, I mean, no matter of me traveling to, to certain places, going to meet new people, going to meet a stranger, he would go up and say hi to them, take their hands. Or something I can never do because I have really bad anxiety. Um, so this guy had a brave heart than I do. <laughs> but. Um, so he wanted to go on, on one adventure. And it would be, had to be taking a bus to there. So what do you do? He got on a bus to see his friend. Um, which is... Which Okay, so this guy, Vince, um, he got on the bus with Tim, so, and this bus is day and night, runs every day, every night, um, people were, they were stopping places, people, so people can get food from the vending, vending machine, and people can get, like, um, maybe a snack, or drink or maybe get a plus to sleep with um so after they got back on the bus they went on their on the journey um and then sat next to Tim Tim but Tim's like hey what's up man and um um Vince would be like just standing there saying he wouldn't say anything. Um, this guy was creepy. Um, this guy said schizophrenia, so he had voices in his, in his head that were... Like, he wasn't quite there. Um, and out of nowhere, he stabs Tim in the neck. And he's screaming the most blood-curling scream anybody's ever heard. People say... Some people say it was like... Mixed with a howling dog and a screaming baby, like it was. 
um, he kept on stabbing him. Like, <laughs> he kept on stabbing him. Like, and people were freaking out, and they got off the bus. Um, one guy tried to go, go tried to go save the Tim, but he couldn't. After he was on stabbing Tim, he was already gone. It's where it gets, and that's not the end of it. No, it gets way fucking worse, people. He literally hears a voice in his head. He fit, the voice in his head said, "Oh, they're gonna, he's going to come back to life and kill you." So he goes back to Tim's body, cuts his fucking head off. The police get there. And they do fucking nothing. Police are retarded, man. These police were fucking retarded. They just sat there. Well, Vince took Tim's head and he's holding it like this, just walking on the bus, like, back and forth. This nice, super nice, super friendly guy, now he has his fucking head in his hand. Not Vince. Vince was a piece of shit, but this nice guy's head was in his fucking hand. And then, he started to stab Tim's hot head. Stab his eyes out. Cut off his tongue. Cut off his ears. Every single part of his fucking head. And then he started cutting Tim's fucking body out. He rips out his fucking intestines, like throwing over on the fucking bus. Like it's some kind of... I don't know, some, some fucked up version of a birthday party. They're streaming fucking organs and shit everywhere. Like, this guy was fucking disgusting. This... This makes my stomach hurt because I, I hate shit like this. When it's fictional in a movie, this this isn't a character from a movie, people. This wasn't like a character from a movie, it was real. So the police finally did something about it. They, um... Got the guy off the bus. Um, arrested him. And then... They, um, all the people who got on the bus, um, the passengers, which they saw this shit too. He was showing this shit on the bus, tearing this guy apart, throwing his organs over, taking his head, kicking like a fucking kickball. And the, and the passengers were seeing this, including kids. So, after all this shit was over, he, he got arrested. And, um, um, Tim's parents got the news that their son passed away, and obviously they were extremely devastated. I mean, who wouldn't be? And, um, he got, he had a baby brother, or, um, a son. And they never got to meet because he was dead. He was killed on that fucking bus, which breaks my fucking heart, man. Because I have a niece. I know how that feels. I don't understand how it feels, but I know how. And all the other passengers got to go home. I'm sure they're traumatized as fuck. One of them was doing an interview on one of the passengers, and he explained everything like it was out of some kind of horror movie. It seems like something you see in fucking Hostel or one of the Saw movies. It's Here's a real kicker. Vince, who killed Tim. He didn't get to go to fucking jail. Okay, he got to he got a free pass. Got a free pass. I mean he got in a psychiatric hospital. Um and he went through therapy, then he got to go back. He get to be he got to be free. This guy deserves a fucking death penalty after what he fucking did. It's his fucking fault. I don't give a shit if he's been fucking um if he's been if he's got schizophrenia, he's mentally ill, he's ill. Why why would you say that? I'm like People are retarded. He literally killed a person for no reason. I can understand if you're kind of ill, like you see voices in your head and you, you kind of 
fight some. I mean, I can see if you're suicidal or something like that. But when you go fucking Chucky on somebody or when Michael Myers on somebody, send me them in the neck. You deserve the rot in hell. You deserve the fucking death penalty. I'll give a see what, what scientists are saying. Like, schizophrenia shit doesn't, doesn't make you go all Michael Myers on somebody, okay? This guy was a psychopath. This guy was super dangerous. He was meant, he was disgusting. He deserved to go to jail for life. It's pissing me the fuck off. I hate this. I mean, this guy's. I don't know where this guy. I hope this guy gets karma. Bite in the fucking ass. This guy was disgusting. What he did was truly appalling. It was repulsive. It was disgusting. He deserves to be fucking dead. If you ask me. Fucking Vince. Vince fucking pissing pants. But that is the case of the Greyhound bus murder. Not a nice one. This is worse than some of the other ones I've seen. I mean, the fact that he got free. There are people who shoplift for candy bars who got more jail time and more trouble than this fucking piece of shit garbage of a human being did. Like, seriously, why the fuck did he, did he not get any sort of punishment? Damn, this, this plan is so fucking stupid, man. But yeah. I'm feeling a bit sick. Not because I am sick. But I am sick, but this makes me sick to my fucking stomach. But can't do anything about it. It's already been done. I... My condolences to Tim's parents and family. I hope they I hope they get some closure. Cause they did. this guy was innocent, man. He was a nice guy. He liked going places. He liked being around new people. I mean, yeah. And what happened to Vince or what happened to Tim? The same thing deserves to be happened to fucking Vince. And this fucking piece of shit. Like I said, he deserves to be fucking executed. But, he didn't. Which makes no sense. At least to me. But let me know what you guys think of this case in the comments below. And let me know your case suggestions in the comments below as well. What we really want to talk about next. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm not going to post any pictures of this case because I hate looking at this guy's nasty looking face. So I'm not going to post any any pictures of this case in the, in, down below on my thumbnail. Which is it'll just be a picture of me. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. And this, this is the last video me uploading for tonight. So, because I'm sick, I'm going to go lay down and eat something. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Have a good night, morning, everyone. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.